what was going on. Oh, what's going on? Yeah. What's going on, y'all? Y'all back with another video, another recap with your boy, Jockway D. Hunt or Preach Boy TV, y'all. Recap with J.D. Will. Love and Hip Hop, season five, season 5, episode 7, Mama Drama. Let's get into this review. Pow! <music> She kicked off this episode with Richie Dallas going to meet up with one of his long lost friends, producer friends, whatever. When y'all find me a track that Richie Dallas produced, when y'all find me a model that Richie Dallas produced, when you find me a Grammy nominated. Stella Award winning or whatever BT Award winning artist that Richard Dallas had his hands in. He actually was prosperous, prosperous, and he actually got uh, some awards, some plays, or whatever. He actually made money from. Pull them artists my way so I can review them so I would know because this whole scene with Richard Dallas being his producer, I'm not seeing it at all. Nada. Bye. Meet up this guy. He wants him to produce. This artist and the T and the gag is on this artist that he already slept with her. When y'all found when those pre pictures were surfaced of Rich Dollar Petey Wacker on his number on Twitter, it was from the girl that he wants Rich Dollars to produce and manage. And Rich Dollars like, what? You know what? I slept with her. I'm not doing it anymore. She hurt me. Put my penis out there. I had to get my number changed. Money was taken out of my pocket because I couldn't get to my money because of her being childish. He said, I'm not trying to work with that. I'm, excuse me, I'm not trying to go back down that road again. They convinced the rich young girls over to talk to this girl. They talk over what they got, what got going on, what happened in the past. They come to agree that they're going to work together. They're going to put those differences aside and they're going to later on have a meeting about what happened so they can work. So I can move on, child. I, Next. So we get the next scene. Diamond meeting up with this dude. He also a producer like this. So she, I guess, quote unquote, moving forward, moving on, I guess. But she was hopping on the next day. But your child is still over on the other side of the world. But you hopping on the next day. You ain't, you know, we ain't seen no careers, we ain't seen no photo shoots, we ain't seen no music. Whatever you, whatever life that you're trying to build in New York. We're not seeing it. We just see you arguing, fighting, look like a dumbass broad, and hopping on every dick that comes your way. Diamond, strawberry, fruit pound cake, whatever you're trying to call yourself. Get it together. Get your life together. Because I'm not seeing it for you. you. You're not making any progress. You're not doing anything worth even watching or seeing. So, girl, bye. This is uh, comes home. Yandy is cooking with his mom. They're having dinner to talk about the baby mama drama that's been going on. He has not been communicating with his baby mama. And Yandy is quickly tied up because start, their drama is starting to play over into what's going on with her. So she's talking with him. She brings the mother in, Judy, to reconcile, to get him to talk. So they're going to plan a dinner or some kind of meetup with the baby mama to get the situation solved. Next thing, Amina talks to her sister. A little blood, butterfly chick with the nappy hair and the, whatever. They're talking, I'm going to get so sick and tired of Amina talking about Peter. I'm like, you allow him to treat you that way. It's your fault. Go off some balls. Stand up to him. Um, Get your life together. Take care of your child and focus on that. And if Peter is not trying to be in that equation, X him out. Next thing. Cisco, Cisco is talking to Richie Dollars. About his life, he talks to both of the girls, both of the girls that he's been through with, uh, his baby mama from before, and Amina Butterfly, I mean, Amina Butterfly. Strawberry is not fooling with him no more, they're not talking, they're not a good terms, because one chick find out about that, the other chick, the other chick find out about him, the other chick he tried to come true, it didn't work out in his favor, so his life is all screwed up, he has nobody by his side, so I guess his Richard Dollar being the quote unquote, um, the relationship guru, but 
he has no relationship and everything for him fails, I, I guess, but everybody wants to come to him for a relationship advice to fit. I guess that's what his, that's what his role is in his season, I guess. Uh, but they're talking about that, and Richard Jolly pops out his phone and shows that Stra uh, uh, Strawberry is rolling with somebody else, and they're all on Instagram exclusively taking pictures, and the dude that's with her is trying to move on to a relationship because he's saying, uh, this girl is not with such and such type of dude you need, I can treat you better, and all this and that, so Strawberry is rolling with it, but he's feeling some type of way, so he calls um, Strawberry, and he's going to meet with her in um, the studio, so I'm going to go straight to that scene, and I'm going to continue forward. Strawberry meets him at the studio while he's working with some um, producing some rapper. Let's see, they take a break and he goes and talks to him. That basically that whole situation was he's mad because nobody's messed around with him. He's mad because Strawberry is on to the next guy. Because she's not gonna have time for his drama, his pettiness, his childish ways. So she's not here for it. So she moves on. So she's coming at basically hear what he has to say. What he has to say. They get into an argument. He tries to flip the script on her. About, yeah, yeah, you talking about you was here for me. If you really hit me, you wouldn't have gave up so easily. And I ain't tell you to come down here. And this all your fault. And this and that. And she's like, hold up. This is not my fault. You, how dare you uh, put the skip on me? You lied and you cheated. You have a child. You cheated on me. So that is enough for me to move on and go on and forget about you. So after that argument, he tells her to get the hell out. She's like, hold on. You lower your voice. I'm not going nowhere. They get physical. And the producers. And the security breaks it up. That was that scene. The, you get the last scene with the grandparents. You get Mendici, his mom Judy, Samantha, and her mom. <laughs> Hold on. Is it me? I'm trying to figure out. Okay, is Samantha? Is Samantha? Um, is she adopted, or is that her mom's girlfriend? Is her mom gay, or what's going on? Because the mom was given butch lesbian. She rolled up in the suit looking out. I mean, she looked like a doggone players club bouncer. Like she used to work with Debo or like something like who? I'm like, where she come from? Like I, did, I thought she was a bodyguard. I thought she was one of the security guards for the show. And it comes out that it's Samantha's mom. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on with that situation. But they're talking and they're trying to hash out their differences at the table. Judy's giving her opinion. Samantha's mom giving her opinion, Samantha's giving her opinion, and then Medici giving his opinion. Somehow, Judy, they get on the subject of Samantha saying that, you know, um, you're not, basically, you're not doing what you're supposed to do because every time little Medici come over and he's doing the phone with it, he's stuttering and that, and Judy brings up a very good idea that it could possibly be his environment. I mean, you are in a hostile environment, you're not settled, you're not doing anything, you're not in his life as frequently as you're supposed to and as frequently as Mendes is, so of course, he's going to be uncomfortable. He's not used to being that. He's not used to getting that daddy love. And that mama love that Yandy and Mendes has been giving him. Because I've been seeing a lot of chats in there or a nice family. And it looked like Samantha, it looked like Samantha was never even invented or never even, like, you don't really hear or see from her. But I guess so. Judy and Samantha are going back and forth. And Samantha just pops up like, uh, hi, sweetie, sweetie. Um, and how old are you? And Judy. Which is Mandisi's mom picks up a drink and admits to throw it across the room, throw it across in Samantha's face. A little got on Samantha, but most of it, honey, got on Jude on Samantha's mom. And let me tell you, all hell broke a freaking loose. They had to take Judy to one side thing, and Samantha's mom was trying to get her to the trying to get her to my own. Oh, you the mess up now, bitch. You the mess up now. You dead. You dead. You dead. And Samantha and Judy over there scared, but she's unbothered because you know the security got her. And she puts on her glasses and it's like, Man, don't let that, don't let that crazy bitch get by me. Move. And I'm, and me, this is just sitting back, just laughing at the whole thing. So. Mendeecee go outside to talk to Samantha and try to come to him in and try to ha basically have a grown adult conversation, trying to get on the same page. They're going to talk later without their mom. So he goes over to Samantha's mom, try to calm her down, try to hurt her and get her back on track because she is ready. She's on Operation Killer Mother right now. She's out of there. But he meant to get her calmed down and she's like, you know what? That's my grandchild. I want to be in my grandchild's life. If 
she was the message my grandchild and mess with you I will put her ass in the same book for you so she's basically like you know what quick the BS get on the same page get these children like and raise these children like they're supposed to and I was all here for Samantha's mom they get in the limo and that was that scene and that was the end of this episode it really wasn't much except for the last scene with the grandmas in there was just crazy that was mama drama I tell you that this recap with J.J. Real Loving Hip Hop Season 5 Episode 7 Mama Drama. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.